I have cherished the idea of a democratic and free society in which all persons will live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an idea for which I hope to live for and to see realized. But my Lord, but if, if it needs be, be, it is an ideal for which I am prepared to die. That was Nelson Mandela on the 20th of April, 1964. Hi, my name is Ulungi Oganaidu. I am Brian Temba Letumakiwa, you know, famously known as the singer Brian Temba. And I'm Greg Borowski or GB Collective, one of the team of writers for this, for this beautiful song that we've done. And I'm going to be honest, um, as a South African, I had never heard that speech before and I did not know what it stands for and I did not know whose speech it was. But those words were so powerful and in my very uneducated space, I had to stop and say, Greg, those words are exactly what I want to say. The wailing of that whole ideal um, was the birth of a song that we are so proud to say we came together and wrote. We are in the building, it is the start of day two. Uh, yesterday, day one, we just spent the whole day setting up the whole project um, on board on the computer, uh, getting the demo that I had recorded with Brian and Lungi into the system here, as well as setting up the drums in Studio 2 and the percussion in Studio 1, and setting up all the stations for all the musicians to come in today. Ready for this? <laughs> Dinner time. I'm Legan. I'm the drummer for this uh, recording session here. I mean, I'm just in awe of, um, I mean, what our country is doing and, and what, what the young people are doing in our country, you know, and the way that we are actually standing and growing and doing bigger things and better things, you know. My name is Thomas Gianni and uh, I'm the percussionist on this uh, marvelous project. Percussion, if you don't know what that is, is all the little stuff that you can hit that makes a noise that not, that's not necessarily a drum kit, yeah? So congas, timbales, bongos, djembes, maracas, shakers, tambourines, triangles, all that stuff in my department. What we want to achieve today is uh, very exciting for me um, and for the other guys to see uh, all the musicians come together and bring the music to life that we recorded. Uh, we're, but we're going to be tracking them all at the same time simultaneously so that we can have that live feel and the musicians can feed off each other. Spent about two hours on just kind of layering different sounds for the different sections of the song. It's quite a big song. I believe that music has always contributed to change uh, in South Africa and to be a part of a project like this that actually celebrates the, the change and the development that we see today has been a great honor for me.
My name is Darlene Wilson. This is Sonia Bass, Ginger Neff and Marty Boeta. We are the musicians who played for this wonderful song and we're all members of the Johannesburg Philharmonic Orchestra. I think that music and art is being used as something that draws everybody together to celebrate this amazing achievement that we've managed to do somehow in the last 20 years. And I think if it wasn't for our culture and the rich diversity of our culture, I don't think we would have come this far. I think you can tell that 20 years of freedom of South Africa is a blessing to me and a lot of my friends. Honestly, uh, somebody came in and they said, how many people um, are in this team of people that are making this happen? And when I said, just four, uh, she said, uh, noise. And I said, honestly, it's just Paul Majaji, Brian Tamba, GB Collective and Ulungi That is it. Really, I mean, you can imagine, here we are, we're entrusted with this very special project, only 20 artists, to tell our history, to tell the best of what we believe makes South Africa, South Africa today. It was the hardest part. We had the song, it was done, and then came the part where 20 artists, how do we choose 20 artists? So we went back and we, we got um, Mom Abigail to represent the, 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 the era of Obama Mary Makeba. We went back and we got Sipo Hot Sticks Mabuza to represent that disco mm -hmm. era, do you know? Clear as well. And we got Claire, I um, in Mango Groove. So mm -hmm. we chose from, you know, every era. So it's one special project with really special people that have come together to make it a world-class production. You're officially the first voice <laughs> to be put down on the Freedom Song. Fantastic. What does 20 years of freedom mean to me? Um, it means I have a voice, and I think for me as a writer, uh, as a poet, as an MC, as a singer, uh, magazine editor, actor, um, I'm allowed the space to be able to say a lot of things that my grandparents are not allowed to say. And expression being my vocation, um, I, I I don't know how to exist without being able to have a voice. This kind of song proves that music is a, um, an international language. It's a, it's, a, it's a language of its own, you know. Um, yeah, you have all the different cultures in one song speaking different languages, but all singing about the same thing, but all to the same beat. Once can they lick a hell that do comes. <laughs> I've been dying for you to come in just to redo that part, because that's the most urgent part. Oh, is it laughing from, at from, him. <laughs> from the demo to, to the real version, yeah. You know, it is always said that to know where you're going, you need to know where you've been. And our children don't know where we've been, but they are going to get it from us. What this song means to me, celebrating 20 years of freedom in our country, is just that freedom and an ideal and an idea of what freedom really stands for, for our youth and our generation. Uh, you know, this one obviously captures a very special moment in our history, 20 years of, of democracy, and it's a collaboration of artists that are you know, legends from yesteryear, current legends, and I think it will surpass any song that I may ever write just from that aspect, that it's this special moment in time that encapsulates a very positive message and a very positive uh, moment in South African history. It's a new South Africa united, a strong nation. All the people have spoken. South Africa belongs to all the people who live in it, black and white. To be a part of something that celebrates the freedom that we have to be whoever we are, the freedom to be an artist and just an artist and to actually survive off of just being an artist is actually quite beautiful. When I first hear the phrase 20 years of freedom, I just think, really? Has it been that long? I still remember going to vote for the very first time and how excited I was. And there was such an energy in the country in 1994. And uh, it, in some ways, it feels like it was yesterday. 
And yet, of course, it was 20 years ago. You have to sort of kick yourself to remind yourself of all the years that have gone by and what we've gone through as a country. We're kind of seeing the transition to, from the struggle to freedom, to, to having rights to vote, to having uh, first pilots, to having musicians. I, I, for one, was able to go overseas. And I don't think that would have happened if, if Mandela and them didn't fight. I was able to see the transition and so I have a great appreciation for what this freedom cost. I feel a great sense of responsibility to play my part in shaping what South Africa becomes moving forward. I believe that freedom is what we make it. Freedom begins with what you want to change, what, what the difference you want to put in into South Africa, into your country. Madiba has managed, not only him, with all our African leaders and all other leaders to fight so hard and give us back our dignity. And today we can proudly call South Africa home, black, white, yellow, green. We are indeed a rainbow nation. I'm on our way to one nation, one people. Hi. Hi! We are the official South African celebration of Freedom Choir and we are honoured as young people to do it. I would say the most important thing about the song as a whole for me is, is obviously its references to Madiba's um, Ravonia trial um, and the way the songwriters worked all of that into the messaging of the song for me was what had originally inspired um, myself to be become part of, of the entire project. From the first day I heard the material um, at Greg's studio with Lungi and Greg, I was immediately blown away. I knew that this is a project I and any South African would want to be proud of and would be privileged to be proud of. Sunday, <laughs> 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 7th of March. Eh? Oh my gosh! Wow! The first day. Oh my gosh. I need to congratulate the three composers um, of this song for taking the initiative to write such a beautiful um, song. I think everyone that's come on board uh, firstly recognizes the great opportunity for us as South Africans to get involved in something celebrating this great milestone in this country. But we also recognize what a beautiful song, what a powerful message, uh, what a beautiful melody. Um, it's exciting, you know, when we're able to come together and do something so, um, so meaningful for ourselves and also the country. I feel, you know, all those words are words of, of um, it's a words of awakening, you know. It's a words of, uh, like I said, it's a words of awareness. Um, it's a word of understanding your value. You know, I can spell freedom, I can be free, I can be called a born free, I can fight for my freedom, I can even be on a freedom song, and I never actually took time to actually learn or read or understand what the Freedom Charter represents. And it's, it looks like quite a beautiful piece of work that actually keeps a lot of peace. Um, you know, powerful words, are very important words written, you know, in, in South African history. And to bring it to 2014 and to put it into our own, you know, our own spin on it is, is, is really cool. We really wanted to emphasize that I hope to live for, because back then that's all it was. It was just hope. hope. It was just hope. It was, yeah. just, it was a hope. That, and now it's a reality. And now it's a reality. We, as naive as we were about it, I think, you know, the situation is that a lot of today's youth are naive. Yeah. about yes, what yeah. actually it took and yes, yeah. speeches like those, words like those that need to live forever. Yeah. Yeah. And the way to make that happen is to put them into song. For me, being in the driver's seat and looking at everybody coming in like Yashelim mm. Shop, looking at people that are great, Sipa Hot Sticks, Mom Abigail Kubega, mm. coming in and the words that they say about the song generally, and for them to say, I'm glad that young people are doing this. You know, because for, for a change, young people are having a voice. And our voice is, it's an ideal. You know, we couldn't have done it. It couldn't have, not, it couldn't have been possible without the belief of um, the Department of Arts and Culture. Their commitment to celebrating this country and to celebrating the arts is really refreshing because to live in a time where they can entrust a project as big as this on the hands of young people 
such as ourselves um, shows you where we are as a country and it shows you what, what, what kind of department we have. My advice for the Born Freeze would be laugh out loud. Enjoy your life. Freedom is set and we're heading forward. Live life and enjoy it and dream. Dream bigger than you think you can dream. Dream bigger than you are told you can dream. So as a born free, appreciate where we come from, respect where we come from as a country, but don't limit yourself to anything. All I can say is that to the young people of this country, it is, as Tata would say, in your hands. You take this country forward, 20 years of great celebrations, and now you have to look after this freedom and democracy. One positive thing is that they are born without, you know, any, any prejudice, without any influence, without any, you know, um, uh, memories of that time. So they are really the people who are going to move our country forward and move our country into, you know, a new dimension, into a new future without all of the baggage from the past. <laughs> Nelson Mandela. Nike to be shagood, okay. So long or a gay, a sent a bishop good moyen gallery. Evil moon now see him. Mono a long or chava divide you, Rabba Vulella, be away, me, Wabamutilija, Obaguarala, Rabba Vulella. Give moon a long or such a camel galifas come gavis the Simurat, and a jono more. And again, I live a galon or ribbing a South Africa, Uder Lower South Africa, even way long one to all Mamutao. Jonong in na over part of your Nakosha A and then go belly in Tagas or Itagas and Lozaki direct to Chara Ki to Melgood or Rikin Nakifet to Long or go belly direct to Chara. One of the biggest things that I learned in my journey is that I have a choice to become a solution. It took people being so dissatisfied with how things were and being willing to even risk their lives so that a person like myself could enjoy the liberties that I do today. I think it must be very exciting to be able to say that you are a born free, so congratulations. Keep that flag flying. Remember what it all stands for. It stands for respect and, and, and kindness, decency, and uh, strength. Strength to do the right thing, so you keep that flag flying. It took a generation before you to fight and for you to be comfortable where you are. And it will take today's generation to let this baton be passed on and or to, to, for the next generation to enjoy this freedom. So it is up to you, the born freeze, you still have the responsibility to hold it. It's a blessing that was given, but it's not easy to keep the blessing. So your duty is to keep it. Your duty is to take care of it. Your duty is to make sure that even the generations to come will still see the beauty of it and enjoy this democracy. I want to urge you to say your country needs you. Your country belongs to you. Work together, hold each other's hand, shape the South Africa you want to live in. This is your South Africa. Don't take freedom for granted because so many people died for it. Uh, seeing where we come from as a nation, as a country, I'm proud to be a born free today and actually be able to express myself in any type of language or in any art form or sports form. So. For me, I am proud to be an African. We'd like to thank this man for everything he is, he stood for, and the lessons that we have learned through him to love one another, even in our good times and our bad times. So, Dada, Usuhambile, Marsi Zokumbula, forever and ever, your legacy will live on in the song, with your words, in everything. Siya Dada.